Can you name this song? Baby, can't you see I'm calling? That's Britney Spears with a 2004 hit single simply titled Toxic. And all 40 songs within this quiz will also only have a one word answer. Play just to guess the song title or song title and artist as well. Before we begin though, don't forget to like and subscribe for a bonus point. Good luck! We begin with Superstition, which was on Stevie Wonder's 15th studio album, Talking Book. Adele's Hello is 8th on the list of best-selling digital singles with over 20 million recorded sales. Believer by Imagine Dragons is only a few songs behind Adele on that same list with over 15 million recorded sales. The song War was first released by The Temptations in March of 1970, with Edwin Starr recording and releasing the most successful version of the song just a few months later. The Bee Gees topped charts in at least eight countries with Tragedy in 1979. Well done if you know all the lyrics to Apache, which was first released by Bert Whedon in 1960 and has since been covered by numerous artists, with the Shadows seemingly have the most success with their version from the same year. The Killers included Human on their 2008 album Day and Age. Zombie by the Cranberries has been certified platinum in at least eight countries since its 1994 release. Seems 
Desperado. Desperado was a title track on the Eagles' 1973 album. The 2006 single Crazy by Niles Barkley won a Grammy for Best Urban Alternative Performance. Gabrielle's 2000 hit Rise uses a sample of Knocking on Heaven's Door, which Bob Dylan allowed her to use for free after listening to and enjoying the song so much. ABBA shot to fame in 1974 after winning the Eurovision Song Contest with Waterloo. Avril Lavigne included Complicated on her 2002 debut album, Let Go. You tell me you love me, you say you'll be true, then you fly around with somebody. Butterfly was first released by Charlie Grace in 1957, with Andy Williams topping both the US and UK charts the following year. Everybody's Guile was a 1986 number one in Austria and Germany for British duo Bruce and Bongo. Rolling Stones magazine had 1977 single Dreams by Fleetwood Mac as the ninth greatest song of all time. Tempted was included on the 1981 album East Side Story and has gone on to be one of Squeeze's most famous songs. Rihanna's 2012 hit Diamonds has been certified diamond in both Poland and the US. Yeah, 
Sledgehammer was the only US number one for English singer Peter Gabriel. Snow Patrol included Run on the 2003 album Final Straw. Madonna's 1998 Frozen was a top 10 hit worldwide and got to number 1 in at least 9 countries. So good. Said be so beautiful. Colorblind in 2002 was the only UK number one for former pop idol contestant Darius. Fast Love was the seventh and final solo UK number one for George Michael in 1996. Oh, Danny, boy, Danny. I get knocked down. 1997 hits Tub Thumping is by far the most successful single by Chumba Wumba. Limelight by Rush from 1981 was inducted into the Canadian Songwriters Hall of Fame in 2010. Natalie Imbruglia had the most success with Torn in 1997, but was first released in Danish with a title that translates to the word Burnt by Liz Sorensen, with American band Edna Swap being the first to release it in English. Dreamer by Italian group Live in Joy got to number one in the UK as well as top in the US Hot Dance Club play charts. VH1 had the 1970s Paranoid by Black Sabbath at the top of a list of greatest metal songs. Boy, I'm trying to meet your mama on Sunday To make a lot of love on Monday Switching the positions for you Picking in the kitchen and I'm in a bed Ariana Grande's 2020 song Positions has been certified platinum in at least 14 countries. 
January in 1975 got to number one in the UK, Ireland and Australia for Scottish band Pilot. Fireflies was a successful debut single by Owl City with a song going on to top charts in at least 11 countries. Pet Shop Boys top charts in 1988 with Heart, a song originally intended for Madonna, although the song was never actually offered to her. Olivia Newton-John and the Electric Light Orchestra collaborated in 1980 for the number one hit, Xanadu. Nick Jonas's 2014 single Jealous topped the US Dance Club Songs chart. Kenny Loggins' 1984 Footloose was selected in 2018 for preservation in the National Recording Registry for being culturally, historically or aesthetically significant. American singer Jennifer Page top charts in New Zealand, Australia and Canada in 1998 with Crush. Mandy was originally titled Brandy when first released by Paul English in 1971, before Barry Manilow changed the title and released his more successful version the following year. James Arthur's version of Impossible just missed out on 2013 British Single of the Year to Skyfall by Adele. It's so hard to leave her, she will turn to me and start to cry. The 1965 album Rubber Soul included one of my favourite Beatles songs, Girl. Tequila. 
And we end with 1958 hit Tequila by The Champs, which was inducted into the Grammy Hall of Fame in 2001. So that's the end of part three of this One Word Song Titles music quiz. What song used was your favourite, and are there any that you think should be included on future versions? Let me know in the comments, and while you're there, don't forget to like and subscribe for that bonus point. Thank you very much for playing along, and I'll see you again soon for another squeeze.